Hi everybody, this is Lina Alusta here. Today I am going to show you how to adhere some of your paintings onto um, a data board or if you like one of these frames, um, wooden panel frames. So I've been asked um, during the sessions this question often and I never had the opportunity and I thought if I don't do it today in the middle of a house move I think it will be uh, till another three weeks till I get to do this again. So, this is what I've actually um, sealed and adhered onto what's called a gator board at the back and I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, these paintings have been done on paper, so um, to flatten it out, initially they started this way. As you can see, they're both kind of curved. So I've had to put them underneath a, a bunch of books so as to flatten them. So. I've got one here that I'm going to show you. Uh, this is completely flat now. And that's the one I'm going to be working on today just to kind of um, show you how it goes. So. I've also, just to let you know, I've actually fixed this and I've also sealed it. So uh, what I've sealed it with is the Liquitex Satin Varnish. I just went over it through with a coat. And um, yeah, and so here it is. So, moving these to the side. Now, what a gator board is, is pretty much exactly like a foam board, but it's got amazing features in that you can't bend it, as you can see. It's water resistant, which is brilliant. And if you've got a piece of artwork that you want to send overseas or you want to say say somebody bought it and you want to send it across it's so light that it really doesn't um, weigh much uh, in terms of costing you an arm and a leg to kind of put through the post uh, especially if it's in international so here we go this is the gator board you can find these gator boards if you're in the uk at jackson's art um, and on Amazon as well. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to place my piece of work exactly on the edges of the gator board and mark where it needs to go and be cut. So this is one part of it, let's just say down here, down here, here, and here kind of keep these as an indicator and what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to cut through across these lines I'm going to go slightly smaller so that the tip of this paper actually sticks out a little bit and I do that for when I want to frame them in a frame so here we go, so if I kind of line that up, and it doesn't have to be completely exact, but that would help. And then I'm going to grab my scalpel. Now make sure you've got a very sharp blade, I've just changed my blade. And where I'm going to go th cut through is the inner lines so that it's slightly smaller than the piece of artwork itself. So it's not going to be exactly as the outer line, it's going to be smaller so that's for it to stick out. So here we go. that being done, see, this is the board, what I'd like to do is to adhere this onto there so that there's a little part sticking out. Now I've got parts sticking out here and here, but not so much on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller so I can have the sides coming out on both sides here. But I only do this when I use the gator board. When I actually use the frame, I'll show you how to do that when I get to that and we can see how that is slightly different to it. So let's see which 
size I want to cut out. That's the size. That's the size. Right. Helps if you've got a cutting board with measurements here. So I try to do the, to do this as straight as possible. to the birds and stop singing, chirping away. Right, here we go. Okay. So that looks pretty much perfect. I don't want the sides to come out any further than that, say two millimeters or three millimeters on each side. Um, and what I'll do now is I'll start putting the glue down. What you will need is a catalyst. Um, and some glue. Now the glue, the best glue to use for both wood panels and this is the Linaco. It's, it's a neutral pH adhesive and it's very very good. You can actually buy this in the UK. You can also buy it on Amazon. So just shake it a little bit. And then I've got a couple of baking, grease proof baking sheets that I use as well in case the glue comes off a little bit and I will spread the glue onto the board and sometimes I spread the glue actually on the sides of the paper which helps especially when it comes to the corners so here we go just make sure it's quite generous I think this one needs a little bit more especially around the side It's so easy you'll find when you actually lay your painting down that sometimes it dries up depending what country you're in. Um, today here in the UK it's quite this nice spring day and inside this conservatory which I call my studio it's a little bit warm so this might dry a little bit quicker than usual. Okay so here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is add a little bit, just a little bit on the paper, just in case, so that I avoid having to do it again. Here we go. And you do pretty much the same. You don't want to put a lot because it will start coming out. Um, so just remember the corners are important. There we go. There might be a little bit of a surplus when I put this down. Okay. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to make sure that this is completely dry. It's got no glue on it at all. Let's turn it over just in case. And then I'm going to put my painting. So I want to be sure which way up I want it. That's only for my information. I'm going to put a little bit more glue over here because I can see it's already kind of drying up. Okay. Do you see, even though I flattened it down for 24 hours in between books, it seems to have curled up. Right. I'm going to take this block and I'm going to put it down and push the artwork down, making sure that a little bit of the paper sticks around the gator board. Here we go. And you kind of can still move it around. It's quite easy to do that. So I'm going to put that there, right there. And as you can see, there's a little bit of the paper on each side sticking out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another piece of this with paper, turn this around, Put a grease proof on top, make sure your grease proof is dry, it's paint free. And I'm going to get the brayer and slowly push it down from the middle outwards to make sure that the glue kind of seeps through and it's quite stuck in there. It's 
seals quite well. Not too hard, it doesn't have to be too hard. Take that off, turn it over again, just check the corners that you've got enough glue down here, down there. Do you see this? Sometimes there might be a little bit that's not stuck, but that's okay. As long as you know you've got, you can see the glue in there, it's just a matter of actually making sure that it has got it in there and it sticks down. So, in order to make it make sure that it all sticks down, you're going to need a bunch of hooks. And if you've got a brick laying about, which is very unusual, I don't know if everybody has any of that, just grab your books again, grab your piece of piece of paper, put it underneath the books, say for example right here, grab your painting, do this properly. Place your painting down this way and then grab the heavy books, put them on top and then as I said if you've got a brick, let's put that here. Always helps to have a big dictionary. I've had this for years and I just can't let go of it. Grab a brick, put it on there and leave it for 24 hours. Now, as soon as you've done that, fast forward 24 hours. This is a piece I've had done before and this is what you will get. A very well sealed painting onto a Gator board, which is wonderful because you can place it in a, in a do not bend envelope and um, set it on its way to its new home. So that's that. With regards to it being framed, so this half of the frame, let's say, you can get another piece of the gator board, place it over here, and glue it. You can either glue it with Linaco again, or you can glue it with something a little bit stronger, say so super glue and what have you. And then, just to show you, that gives it a little bit of depth. I've got a frame over here, okay? Now ideally I would have framed, I would have painted this, the back end of the frame in white. I do have one that's already white, I just didn't get the time to do that. And if I place that on top here, that's how it should be. So I've painted the back end white, okay? And then you glue it onto onto the back end, so you've got a little bit of depth here, which really makes it look good. And then what you can do, and I'll do it with the original one. Let's say you've got that on here, that on here, that on here. You have painted that white or sprayed it white. Put it in here. And that's how you frame it. <laughs> and that's how you frame it, sorry, <laughs> for exactly a perfect framing here because I won't do that bit at this moment in time. But ideally that is the idea. So I hope that helps you. Now, uh, number two, ceiling number two, I've got here a 15 by 15 C white with panel board. Pretty much the same thing. We're going to do the same thing over here if you want to kind of see it onto a board. Okay. I want to make sure that I'd like all the bits and ends of this painting. This is already slightly bigger than the frame, as you can see. And so you have to kind of make a judgment on which end you want to keep and which end you want to cut. So for me, I'd really like to keep these ends. I've still got a little bit of the black. I'm happy cutting across down here as well. Maybe perhaps a little bit down this end. So look. Hmm. Okay, let's just go for it. So that's what I'm going to do. Same process again on wood this time. So I'm trying to see. I think the wood absorbs the glue a little bit more here. But we're going to check this out and see how it turns out to be. There we go. You can see the glue better on this. Trying to get the edges and the corners is very, very important. 
to have them generously poured over here. And here we go. process again. I've got a little bit of glue here, so I'm going to change the grease proof paper and get a new one. Place this here. Now, so this is the top end of my painting, bottom end of my painting. I want to make sure that as I place it down, I'd like these ends to kind of stay, so I'll be cutting these bits over here if they stick out. Here we go. This is down. I'll place the board down. And hope for the best. So you can, as I said, you can still kind of slightly move these around a little bit. Here we go. Okay. They sit down and I can see the glue already coming out slightly and coming off. Here we go. Same process. I'm going to turn this over. This is dry. Get the brayer again from the middle out. Just squeeze that, make sure the glue spreads over all the way to the corners and to the sides. And then the same process, I'm going to Place this piece, that's no glue, that's actually the paint. I'm going to place it on here. I'm going to get this one. There we go. Place that down. At this point, I'm going to leave the edges there after 24 hours. There we go. Place the dictionary back home and the brick back home and leave that for 24 hours. Hi everybody, so here we are 24 hours later, revealing moment. Let's see what we've got over here. I'm going to remove these and just see how well sealed these are. They seem to be very well sealed and quite strong. So what I'm going to do with this one, that's the one we've actually adhered to the panel board. I'm going to cut the edges here and be extremely careful. So be very, very careful when cutting those edges. As I said previously, um, this is a sharp blade. Um, and we're just going to cut through very slowly and very carefully. With a little, we're going to cut those little pieces that are sticking out. Um, there we go, three times over until you're happy with the result. Needs a little bit more. There we go. That's one edge down. Let's have a look. You don't want to cut too close to the wood frame, otherwise you can end up cutting a bit off the frame itself. That's two. This is pretty much okay. Over here we've got just a little bit that's hanging out, so I'll fit those and there we go. So, what do you think about that? All framed beautifully. I might just go over a little edge here, because that's slightly sticking out. There we go. And that's it. That's one done. <laughs> now, for the second piece that we've actually put on the gate of board and sealed to the gate of board. Mm, revealing. There we go. Perfect board, doesn't bend, quite hard. And with this one, as I said previously, what I'll do is I'll keep the edges on it so as to give it that depth when you're actually sealing another one of those gator boards on the back. So what you do is you seal it. And this is a frame that I got. I should actually be painting the frame white, but with everything being packed up for the move right now, I won't be able to show you that. So. Just to give you an idea, just paint the back of the frame, 
add the extra bit of gaiter to the back and seal it either with a double-sided tape or with glue. Stick it where you want it and then you can put the frame in and I'll put the frame in just over here. Just kind of give you an idea basically. And this is it. So I guess we're done. If you've got any questions at all, do ask and I'll, I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye now.